this video is a demonstration of the model view window in the anybody modeling system. You can see that uh, we are starting from a loaded model uh, where we already performed the inverse dynamics analysis. The listener can easily load his model by dragging the main file into the main window and pressing the M button. To execute the inverse dynamics analysis, he can navigate to the operation, stop and press run application and then press run. So let us start by saying a few words about the basic concept um, of the model visualization in anybody. So let's open the model view and see our model. So this window is where the user can see his model, customize the view for producing required screenshots and reports, and if he wants to see the model in more detail. So each component has a predefined visual behavior. If you right click on the model, we can see that uh, we can select the main object. And that happens because we didn't click on one of the parts of the model. So if we click on the, let's say on the seat, we can see that uh, you can navigate to the components of the model directly and work with them. But let's go back to the main file and talk a little bit about options available in this menu. So let's select this object and you can see that there are several possible actions that we can undertake. So the first one is select, the second one is reset, and the third one is transparent. So the first one is used to select a single or a group of objects and process them together. So you can either hide them all together or reset or set transparent, etc. So the second option, reset, means that you return the model defined representation of the objects to the initial state. This can be used, for example, if you modified something and then you want to return back and get your object back to the initial state. And the third one is transparent, and that explains itself. The objects in the model view will become transparent when you press this button. Let's look a little bit further. We can see the, the section called model view defined view. Model defined view. Uh, so what that means is you can allow the system to visualize the objects how they are defined in the any script code. So by pressing show you will use this definition and by pressing hide you will hide it. There is another section called auto-generated view and using options from this section you will enable the system defined uh, visualization behavior of the object. We will show it a little bit later how to use that. Let's look back into the previous menu and you can see that uh, there are more options and one of them is segments, muscles, joints, forces, kinematic measures and reference frames. So you can apply all of the aforementioned actions to the segments or muscles or joints that belong to the group of selected objects. And last but not least, uh, we can also navigate to the any script code directly by selecting an object. And the same can be applied to the model tree, so you can find an object from the model view in the model tree. As well as that, you can show the description of a particular object. So, let us try to visualize uh, something. <coughs> um, we recommend to start with a simple node because these nodes are used uh, for many different reasons and one of them, for example, is to define an insertion of the muscle or an origin. It can also be used as a point of application of a point of a force, for example. And let's try to find the knee joint, which is defined as a as a reference node. For that, we will double click on the thigh segment because this node belongs to the segment. It also belongs to tibia, and this is where the joint is connected to each other. 
the bones are connected into a joint. So we navigate to the drawing object of the femur. And this drawing object belongs to this segment called thigh. So you can see it here. And if we scroll down, we can see that there is a node which is called knee joint. So we will notify the model view that we would like to draw this uh, object by using the system defined view. And we should do that because we don't see the joint node right now and it means that there is no model defined view for this node. So let's press show. And a nice blue reference frame appears uh, in the model view and now we know where the knee joint is. So the next exercise, let us try to isolate a single muscle to investigate how it looks like, what components are, etc. So what we can do, we can hide all the muscles um, in our model. So we will go to the main muscles and we will hide all the model defined muscles. This is how it looks. Now we will go back to the model tree and we will find the muscles. The muscles are located uh, on the same level as the segments and they are called MUS mass. So you can see soleus medialis, other muscles. And let's choose uh, gastrocnemius medialis and try to visualize it. So we select this object and we say this object plus all levels and we will use the model defined view because this particular object was already defined by the model. So we press show and we see how the muscle appears in our model view. So let's navigate to the to the muscle. So we can see where it starts, where it ends. We can see different parameters. We can also navigate back to the drawing object in the model tree. This way we can show any object in the system. And the same can be applied to the bones. So let's try to visualize a single segment. Uh, for that we will hide everything. So we will press, we will right click on the model view. We will select main this object plus all levels and we will say hide. As you can see one of the objects remains in the model view and this object was the system defined node that we created and because of that uh, it doesn't belong to the model and it remains uh, in the model view so we can hide it manually. So let's find our femur. We will navigate back to the segment folder. We will select thigh segment and we will say model view this object, model defined view, show. And here we have a nice femur. But let's make it more interesting. Let's try to visualize the knee joint and the reaction forces that happen in this joint that are being calculated in this joint. So we will navigate to the joint folder. We will select the knee joint and we will select the, this object plus all levels and we will say system generated view because there is no a model defined representation. When we press that we see something like that. We see the direction of the reaction forces. We see the joint itself. And that can be used for nice visualization of the states of the <coughs> joint reaction forces during the analysis. So let's try to visualize it as compared to the other time frames in the simulation. 
So we go to the study, we select replay, and we will show what happens when we perform this action. You can see that the femur is rotating and the reaction forces change direction and they change the magnitude. And this particular video can be used as a result or used for presentation. And this is this all can be done by using our model view. And finally, let's try to revert everything and get our person back. So one way would be to select main this object plus all levels and press reset. When we do that, we get our person back, but it doesn't look exactly the same as before because we have some model defined objects. However, you can still regard everything back by pressing force recreate view. And that returns us to the initial state. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you very much.